Hello and welcome to the tutorial on ordering numbers. In this tutorial we're going to do ordering numbers up to 10 and we are going to use the number line to do this. So let's have a look at our example. Suppose you are at a party and there are different colored balls there. You've got some blue balls, so let's draw them over here. And there are some orange balls. Well, orange, orangey brown, you could say. Okay, there's one more. And there's one more. And finally, there are also some green balls. So those are the different colored balls we have. Now, how would we put them in order with the smallest number first? Now, I'm sure you can have a look at these and say, in which group are they the smallest number? Is it blue? Is it orange? Or is it green? But let's use the number line to do this. Firstly, we're just going to count how many balls there are. So how many blue balls are there? Count with me. One, two, three. So we can say there are three blue balls. How about orange? How many orange balls are there? Let's just write down balls here. How many orange balls are there? Again, count with me. One, two, three, four, five. So there are five orange balls. And lastly, how many green balls are there? Again, count with me. One, two. So there are two green balls. Now, if we're going to put them in order, now again, I'm sure you know how to do this, but what we're going to do is we are going to use the number line. Now, do you recall what the number line is? That's right. It's simply a line with numbers. It can start at any number and end at any number. So let's draw our number line. And you can draw this with me. It's a zero. Ours is going to start from zero, and we're going to count upwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's keep going. Nine, and lastly, ten. So that is our number line. And our number line starts at zero and ends at 10. So now what we have to do is we have to plot the balls at the top on the number line. Now just remember that 0 is the smallest and the number 10 is the largest. Okay. So therefore once we plot this, we'll be, we'll, we will know which balls are the smallest amount, and then we'll gradually move up to the middle ones, and then the largest ones. So let's do that. Let's have a look at the blue balls. And there are three blue balls. Let's put a nice big dot over here. There are three on the number line. Now how about the orange? On the orange, there are five balls. Let's put another big dot. Can you find number five? That's right, it's over here. Now how about the green balls? How many are they? There are two. So let's find number two on the number line. There we go. So we have now plotted all three groups onto the number line. Now which is the smallest amount? Well, we know which is the smallest amount. It's the one which is closest to zero. Which, which one is closest to zero? It's this one. It's the green balls. After that, it is the blue balls, and then the orange balls. Now let's write this down over here. So we're going to write these down in order. So the smallest group is two green balls. 
Now what comes after that? Well, we've done the green balls. After that, it is the blue balls. So we can write that down next. One after that is three blue balls. And lastly, we have the orange balls. And how many are they? They are five orange balls. And that is how we order numbers up to ten. Now, we drew the pictures as an example with how many balls there are, but you can do this when you simply have just the numbers. You draw the number line, plot it on the number line, and then you can start working through which is the smallest up to which is the largest.